We're going to explain how to connect your FD Cam Pro to your phone. One, first, make sure your FD Cam Pro is charged and powered on. The power button is usually located on the side or back of the camera. Two, next, download the dedicated FD Cam Pro app from either the Google Play Store for Android or the Apple App Store for iOS. It's crucial to download the correct app, as using a different app might lead to connection issues. Three, once the app is downloaded and installed, open it. You'll likely be greeted with a screen prompting you to connect a camera. Four, now the process of connecting varies slightly depending on the Fatty Cam Pro model, but generally involves enabling Wi-Fi on your phone and searching for available networks. Your FD Cam Pro will broadcast its own Wi-Fi network usually with a name containing FD Cam Pro or a similar identifier. The specific name should be in your camera's user manual. Five, locate your FD Cam Pro's Wi-Fi network in your phone's Wi-Fi settings and select it. You might need to enter a password, which is often printed on a sticker on the camera itself or in the user manual. If it doesn't work, check the manual. Six, once connected to the FD Cam Pro's Wi-Fi network, the app should automatically detect the camera. If not, you might need to tap a search or scan button within the app. Seven, after the app detects the camera, it will establish a connection. You should see a live video feed from your FD Cam Pro on your phone's screen. Eight, if you encounter problems connecting, ensure that both your phone and the FD Cam Pro have strong Wi-Fi signals. Try restarting both your phone and the camera. Also, make sure you're within the operational range specified in the camera's documentation. Nine, Refer to your FD Cam Pro's user manual for troubleshooting tips and specific instructions related to your camera model. They often include detailed diagrams. 10. If you continue to experience difficulties, consider contacting FD Cam Pro's customer support for assistance. They should be able to provide further guidance or troubleshoot any persistent connection problems. Remember to check the app's settings for any further configuration options, such as video resolution and recording settings.